jama'a masu kallon mu assalamu alaikum da fatan kuna cikin koshin lafiya Zahra Aminu Fagetti ke farin cikin kasancewa da ku a wani sabon shirin taskar VOA daga nan birnin Washington DC To a cikin shirin na wannan makon bayan kimanin shekaru uku ba su hadi ido da ido ba shugabannin kasashen duniya sun tare a birnin New York na nan Amurka domin babban taron majalisar dinkin duniya Wakilin Muriya Amurka wanda ya bibiyi jawaban da wasu shugabannin Afirka suka yi a wajen taron majalisar dinkin duniya a New York zai zo mana da karin bayani A ranar litinin ne aka yi jana'izar Sarauniya Elizabeth ta biyu a London a wani kasaitaccen biki da ya samu halartar shugabannin kasashen duniya fiye da dari Sannan a bangaren wasanni kuma wata kungiyar wasan kwallon guragu a Ghana ta fara shirye-shiryen zuwa Canada domin fafatawa a wasan kwallon guragu a wani mataki na nuna wa duniya irin baiwar da guragu ke da ita Zamu bude shirin ne na wannan makon da babban taron majalisar dinkin duniya a birnin New York na Amurka inda fiye da shugabannin kasashen duniya dari suka taru domin tattauna hanyoyin shawo kan kalubalan kasashen duniya shugabannin kasashen Afirka da dama sun gabatar da jawabai a wurin taron kafin mu je ga abubuwan da shugabannin Najeriya da Niger suka gabatar a wurin taron ga wannan Majalisar dinkin duniya ta ce mutane fiye da miliyan 800 a fadin duniya ne ke fama da yunwa yanzu haka. Karin sama da miliyan 150 kenan tun bayan barkewar annoba COVID-19. A gefen babban taron majalisar dinkin duniya a birnin New York, sakataren harkokin wajen Amurka Anthony Blinken ya ce Amurka za ta bayar da wani gagarar man agaji ga kasashen duniya akan abinci. Blinken ya ce wata hanya ta taimakawa shirin agajin samar da abinci ita ce a nemi tsawai ta yarjejeniyar da majalisar dinkin duniya ta taimaka aka cimma tsakanin Russia da Ukraine wacce ta bada damar fitar da hatsi daga tashoshin jiragen ruwa da ke gabar tekun Black Sea and as you've heard from my colleagues despite some of the kuma kamar yadda kuka ji daga abokan aiki na duk da cewa wasu bayanan da ba na gaskiya ba da ke ci gaba da fitowa daga Moscow Hatsi da sauran kayan abinci na isa kasashen da aka fafukatar su musamman a kasashen kudancin duniya har ila yau hakan ya kuma taimaka wajen rage farashin abinci a duniya Shugaban Russia Vladimir Putin ya ce yarjejeniyar ba ta aiki kuma ya dora laifin karancin abinci da taki akan takunkumin da kasashen yamma suka kaka bawa a Moscow maimakon mamayar da yake yi a Ukraine Prime Minister of Spain Pedro Sanchez ya ce Putin na yi wa duniya barazana da abinci We are running out of time if farmers don't get fertilizers Lokaci na kuri mana idan manoma ba su samu takin zamani a daidai lokacin da ya dace ba yanayin kasashe marasa karfi ko ma yawancin kasashe zai ci gaba da zama da muni kuma bari in fayyace muku babu zaman lafiya idan da yunwa kuma ba mu iya kawar da yunwa ba tare da zaman lafiya ba Minister Samar da ababan mora rayuwa na Ukraine Alexander Kubrakov ya fada wa muryar Amurka cewa Ukraine za ta ci gaba da fitar da hatsi zuwa kasashen Somalia, Habasha, Kenya da sauran kasashen Afirka da suka fa bukata for us it just to, to increase volumes of our export muhimma abu a gare mu shine kawai a kare yawan kayayyakin da muke fitarwa zuwa waje sakamakon da muka gani a watan agusta ya ba da kwarin guyuwa mun cimma kusan miliyan 5 watan kwacin adadin da muke cimmawa kafin yakin blinkin ya ce amurka na shirin taimakawa wajen bunkasa harkar noma a afirka na lokaci mai tsawo Many of our African countries. Da yawa daga cikin abokan aikin mu na Afirka, musamman sun bayyana a fili cewa ko da yake suna bukatar agajin gaggawa, abin da suke bukata shine karin kudi na bunkasa fannin noma da dogaro da kai. Ina da tabbacin cewa daga dan lokacin da nayi a wasu kasashen Afirka, akwai dama a can, amma akwai bukatar taimako. A watan da ya gabata ne dai Blinken ya kai ziyara a Afirka ta Kudu, Jamhuriyar Demokradiya Kongo da kuma Rwanda. To 
to yanzu kuma bari in mika ku ga abokin aiki na Sarfila Hashim wanda yake birnin na New York domin jin karin bayani a game da abubuwan da suka wakana a wurin Sarfilu gare ka to ma da Lazara kawo yanzu za a yace wa wannan babban taro wannan majalisar dinkin duniya yana neman zuwa karshe abubuwa da dama ne aka tafi a wurin wannan taro ka ma da gabatun tsaro zuwa tattalin arziki da masauyin yanayi a wurin taron shugaban Amurka Joe Biden yayi kausar suka ga mamayen da Russia wato shugaban Vladimir Putin ya kaddamar akan Ukraine a daidai lokacin da Russia ke zafi mamayen wakile fara White House Anita Powell wacce ka tare da shugaba Biden ka hada mana da wannan rahotin da ganin New York shugaban Amurka Joe Biden yayi amfani da lokaci mai yawa na jawabin da yayi a babban taron majalisar dinkin duniya a Berlin New York ya cecceke Moscow let us speak plainly a permanent ku bar mu yi magana karara wani mamban committee sulhu na majalisar dinkin duniya na dindindin ya kai mamaya akan makwabciyar sa a yunkurin kakkabe kasar daga taswirar duniya Biden ya zargi shugaban Russia Vladimir Putin akan yunkurin shirye zaben da bagaddama na kariya don kwace wasu yankunan kasar Ukraine sa'o'i kafin taron nan shugabannin duniya a helkwatar majalisar dinkin duniya Putin ya sanar da daukar wani bangare na sojojin sa kan ya haifar da damuwa na kai harin makaman nukuliya da prevention referral lalle za mu yi amfani da duk wata hanya da muke da ita kuma wannan ba cikon baki bane sanar wata Putin na zuwa ne bayan da sojojin Ukraine suka kora sojojin sa daga arewa maso gabashin kasar shugaban kasar Ukraine Volodymyr Zelensky ya yi jawabi a wani sako da aka dauka ta bidiyo shine shugaba ɗaya tilo da majalisar dinkin duniya ta dauke masa halartar taron karankan sa a crime has been committed an yi wa kasar Ukraine laifi kuma muna bukatar a dau batakin jan kunni rikicin na Putin na zuwa ne a daidai wani lokaci da akwai yuwar gajiya da yaki tsakanin mambobin majalisar dinkin duniya from a diplomatic standpoint for Ukraine daga mahanga ta diplomasiya ga kasar Ukraine da masu goyon bayan ta ina tsammanin wannan ya taimaka wajen mayar da hankali akan wannan yaki kuma watakila yana da tasiri wurin mai da rashi san ya ware zuwa wani mataki mafi girma fiye da yadda aka ware ta a wannan lokacin Biden ya ce yana goyon bayan fada da committee sulhun na majalisar dinkin duniya wani mataki da wasu mambobin committee na dindindin da suka hada da China da Russia suka kalo balanta This includes permanent seats for those nations. Fada da war zai hada da kujeru na dindindin na kasashen da muka dade muna taimakamuwa da kuma kujeru na dindindin ga kasashen Africa da Latin America da kuma Caribbean. Akan batun samar da abinci a duniya, Biden ya sanar da bada taimakon sama da dala biliyan 2 da miliyan 900. Sai kuma babbar gudunmuwa ga asusun duniya na yaki da cututtuka kamar kanjama da tarin faka da kuma maliliya. That means we're going to work with our partners in Congress to contribute. Hakan na nufin zamu yi aiki tare da kawayenmu a majalisar dokoki domin bada karin tallafin dala biliyan 6 ga wannan asusun duniya. Shugaban kasar da uwar gidansa Jill Biden sun koma Washington a ranar Alhamis. to a ranar Laraba ne shugaban Najeriya Muhammad Bahari ya kaddamar da nashi jawabin a taron majalisar dinkin duniya a nan New York inda ya bawa kasashe masu hulɗa da Najeriya bisa goyen bayan su ga harkokin zabe a kasar sannan ya yi Allah wadai da shugabannin da suke kin mutun tare da kunnin tsarin mulki game da wa'adin su na mulki ga abin da yake cewa we believe in the sanctity of constitutional term limits mun yi imani da mutunta tanadin kundin tsarin mulki na kayyade wa'adin shugabanci kuma muna aiki da shi sauda kafa a Najeriya muna ganin irin illar da ke faruwa da ta'adin idan shugabanni suka nemi su canja doka domin tsawaita mulkin su yanzu haka muna shirin gudanar da babban zabe a Najeriya a watan Fabrairu mai zuwa ina godiya ga kasashe abokan huldar mu bisa goyen bayan da suka ba mu ta fannin zabe a matsayina na shugaban kasa ina da burin cewa daya daga cikin abubuwan da zan bari da za su dade ana amfani da su ana kuma tunawa da su shine kafa tsarin gudanar da zabe sahihi na gaskiya wanda ta hanya shine ɗan Najeriya za su rika zaben shugabanni da suke so shugaban Najeriya kenan Muhammad Bahari to a ranar Alhamis ne kuma shugaban Najeriya Bazum Muhammad ya gabatar da nashi jawabin a taron 
inda yi magana akan mafarin ta'addanci a yankin Sahel sannan yayi kira kungiyoyin kasa da kasa da su taimaka wajen sha'anni ilimi da matsayin hanyar yaki da matsalar tsaro a yankin Sahel ga abin da yake cewa wannan salan tashin hankali a yankin Sahel yayi tasiri akan al'ummomi makiyaya wadanda matsalar sauyin yanayi ta shafa sosai kuma matsalar ta sa an samu wasu daga cikin su wadanda zuciyar su ta karkata ga ayyukan ta'addanci wadannan tashi tashin hankula suna dagula harkokin gwamnati wanda ya kai ga durkushewar gwamnatin demokradiya a Mali a 2020 da kuma Burkina Faso a 2022 wadannan matsaloli biyu wato karuwar yawan jama'a da kuma matsalar sauyin yanayi sun haifar da rikice rikice a yankin musamman ma dai tun bayan kifar da gwamnatin Kanada Gaddafi a 2011 halin da ake ciki na rudani da kasashen yankin Sahel ke fama da shi ya karu a yau ya kamata majalisar dinkin duniya da sauran kungiyoyin kasa da kasa da suke damuwa game da ta'addanci su san cewa maganar baka ba ta isa ba dole ne mai aiki ta hanyar kashe kudi sosai da ake bukata a fannin ilimi domin yaki da matsalar daro da ake fama da ita a yau da kuma hana tashin hankali a gaba shugaban Niger kenan Bazu Muhammad daga cikin wadanda suka zo wannan taron Najeriya akwai gwamnati da ministoci wadanda suka yi nasu da sauran holdodi dan cigaban kasar nasa matattanawa da ministan kudi ta Najeriya Zainab Shamsu na Ahmed Annan New York din akan matsalolin rayuwa da ake fama da su a Najeriya da kuma yadda wannan taro zai taimaka wajen magance su mun zo America ne mu mara shugaban kasa baya saboda wannan um, taro da ake yi na United Nations General Assembly uh, so yau din nan muna cikin wani tsari da Nigeria ta shirya domin mu nemi uh, abokantaka da uh, da mutane da kuma businesses to ya ake ciki yanzu duniya na fama da bazan ce talauci ta fada wani yanayi ne kuncin tattalin arziki biya Nigeria take a halin yanzu to wannan uh, yanayi da ake ciki mu ma ya shafe mu uh, in ka duba farashin kayayyakin abinci sun fara tashi amma uh, ba mu kadai wannan abun ya tasa ba mu za mu ce ma Allah ya sauƙa mana na akwai kasashen duniya da yawa da nasu ya ruba na ya ruba namu uh, ninkin bisa bisa ninki me yasa mu abin da bai shafe mu ba sosai musamman hanyar abinci saboda cekaru bakwai da shugaban kasa president Muhammadu Buhari yake mulki an ba da karfi domin ta da uh, ayyukan hanyar uh, noma uh, uh, a kasa yau yawan abincin da muke da shi ya isa ya ciyar da mutanen mu ba sai an shigo da abinci daga wata kasa ba dan a ciyar da mu amma mutane suna cewa akwai tsada suna da damuwan cewa abincin sai ya zo da tsada so mutane ba za su iya sayan duk wani irin abincin da suke so ba sai sun zaba a hankali me yasa kan abincin nan ke da tsada suna da tsada ne saboda hayyafan kudaden safara kudaden safara saboda yau kudin mota wanda take kwasan kaya daga gona zuwa kasuwa ya tashi da yawa me yasa ya tashi da yawa saboda kudin diesel da kuma kudin petroleum da kuma man petrol so hayyafan tashin kudin wadannan man da ke da ake sa a mota don a a dauki kaya daga gonaki zuwa kasuwanni shi yasa kayan ya tashi amma in za ka je gona ka sai kayan kudin ya sauka wannan taron da kuka yi me yake ya kuke ganin zai taimaka wa Najeriya wannan taro da kuka zo burin mu shine in aka ga wannan taron za mu samu manyan manyan businesses daga wasu kasashen waje da za su shigo Najeriya su kawo hannun jari dan su samu dan su dan su fara sababbin businesses a kasar mu in su hanyar nan ne Najeriya ta samu gudade domin kasar mu za ta bunkasa in muka samu sababbin hannun jari suka shigo ba wai domin za a ba gwamnati kudi ba domin za su tada ma'aikatu da za a yi daukan yara aiki da kuma kananan 
businesses as e samu ayyukan da zasu yi manyan businesses da suka zo suka shigo suka bude ma'aikatun su a Nigeria akwai suka da ake cewa gwamnatin nan na yawan ciwo bashi da gaske ne mun an so ba suka musamman tun da aka shiga cikin matsalar covid saboda ita lokacin covid din nan yana bukatan a sa a sa kudi domin a tada a tada a tada asibitocin mu a gyara su a bada kayan aiki kuma a a killace a killace mutane da suka samu rashin lafiya sannan kuma a taimaka ma marasu karfin da shi wannan lokacin covid din yasa sun zama na suna da rangwami Minister kudi ta Najeriya kenan Zainab Shansuna Ahmed to masu kallon mu yanzu kuma bari in sake mai da ku ga abokiyar aiki na zahara a birnin Washington DC domin ci gaba da shirin taskar VOA Minister Phil Hashim Gumel daga nan birnin New York to madalla a gaishe ka sar filu masu kallon mu shirin taskar ne ke zuwa muku daga nan sashen Hausa na Murya Amurka a birnin Washington DC kafin ba ci gaba ga wannan A ranar litinin 19 ga watannan na satun ba ne akai jana'izar Sarauniya Elizabeth ta biyu a wani kasaitaccen biki da ya samu halartar shugabannin kasashen duniya fiye da dari Henry Ridgewell ya aiko mana da wannan rahoton daga London Sarauniya da mutanenta ke kauna Sarauniyar wanda mutane ke matukar girmamawa da sha'awa na nesa ba kusa ba har a ƙarshen duniya an dauki akwatin gawar Elizabeth akan amalakin harbabin diga wacce jami'an sojin ruwa na Burtaniya suka rika ja zuwa cocin Westminster Abbey wani gini mai matukar tarihi a sarautar kasar dan makoki dubu biyu ne suka halarci jana'izar ciki har da shugabanni sama da dari da sarakuna 20 shugaban Amurka Joe Biden da uwar gidan shi Jill Biden na cikin taron sannan sai layin magadan sarautar ya biyo bayan akwatin gawar na farko karkashin jagorancin sarki Charles na uku da ayyan sarauniyar su hudu sai kuma jukoki na gaba William da Catherine da ayyan su biyu George da Charlotte sai kuma Harry da Meghan Sarauniya Elizabeth sarauniya ce mai ruko da addinin Kirista ta kuma yi kyakkyawan shiri ga jana'izar ta kuma ta zabi wakoki makoki da addu'o'i da ta fiso Let us commend to the mercy of God our nema mata rahamar Allah wanda so yayi mu kuma mai ceto dan ceto Elizabeth sarauniyar mu Ni hura sarewar sarauniyar yayi huri na jimami yayin da ya ci gaba har aka daina jin shi Miliyoyin mutane a duk fadin Burtaniya sun kalli hidimar a manyan talabijin a wuraren shakatawa da gidajen sinema. Na kasa hakurin zuwa nan. Lokaci ne mai kyau don duniya ta taro. Lokacin hadin kai ne. We are here to you know say final goodbye. Ko zanan ne dan yin bankwana na ƙarshe ga uwar al'umar mu kuma muna matukar bakin ciki a yau. We're together with the nation to celebrate. Muna tare da al'umar kasar dan bikin Bisne Sarauniya da lokacin da ta yi kan ragar mulki kuma za mu yi kewar ta da yawa a zahiri. Wasu masu makoki sun ce sun ji wata alaka mai zurfi da Sarauniya cewa sun yi rashin wanda suke so. 
ga wasu kuma alama ce ta girmamawa ga sarauniyar da ta bauta wa kasar ta tsawon shekaru 70 ga kowa da kowa kasancewa anan shine ya zama wani bangare na tarihi ranar da ba wanda zai manta bayan hidimar an dauki akwatin gawar ta tsakiyar London sannan aka daura gawar a motar daukan gawa ta gwamnati dan tafiya zuwa Father Windsor Castle an ci gaba da tafiya a kafa mai tsawon mil 3 zuwa Windsor karnukan sarauniya suna waje suna jiran su yi wa gawar ta maraba an kai akwatin gawar zuwa Church of St George's Chapel dan hidimar sadakarwa an cire kambin milkin sarauta da sandar alamomin gadan sarauta an cire su daga akwatin gawa kuma an sanya su a gaban cocin ban kwana na karshe daga da zuwa uwa an saukar da akwatin gawar zuwa ma'adanar gawar wakin yan gidan sarauta go forth upon thy journey from this world o christian soul muna adda Allah ya sa wannan tafiya da rai zai yi zuwa daga wannan duniya zuwa komawa ga Allah da ya halace shi Abin jimani na yan gidan sarauta ya kasance abo da kowa ya iya gani wanda wata al'ada ce ta shekara da shekaru yayin da wani zamani ya kare wani kuma zai fara ga Burtaniya wannan bankwana ne mai zafi da radadi na sarauniya da ake matkar kauna a jamhuriyar Niger hukumomin kasar sun ce kimanin mutane 190 ne suka rasa matsugunan su sannan mutane 337 suka rasa rayukan su sakamakon ambaliyar ruwa da aka samu a daminar bana a sassa daban-daban na kasar wakilin murya Amerika a yamai Yusuf Abdullahi ya ziyarci Tilabari daya daga cikin yankunan kasar da wannan al'amari ya fi muni wanda ya fara samun agaji daga wajen kungiyoyin kasa da kasa irin su MSF ga kuma rahotan sa kaukan da suka hada da goge zai da cidda da garbe tambu da kuma wankama dake cikin karamar hukumar dan Chandu a cikin yankin na Tilabari dake yi mutun nishar sune suka samu banna sosai sakamakon ambaliyar ruwan da aka samu a garuruwa daban-daban na yankin wanda da ma ke fama da matsalar tsaro kimanin da gidaje 400 ne suka rugushe sannan mutane fiye da dubu biyu ne suka rasa matsugunan su sakamakon ruwan saman da aka samu kamar da bakin kuriya a wadannan kauyukan na yankin na Tilbiri wannan al'amarin ya tilasawa wadanda al'amarin ya shafa neman mafaka a cikin gonakin su ta hanyar kakkafa rumfunan kara Roka ya Hamidu na daya daga cikin su ba mu da wani zabi illa mu nemi mafaka a cikin gonakin mu saboda ruwan sama ya ruguje mana gidaje dole ce kuma ta sa mu zama a karkashin wannan rumfarkara ganin yadda wannan al'amarin yayi kamari kungiyar likitoci na kasa da kasa ko mai da san san frontier ta taimakawa mazauna wadannan kauyukan da kaiki da dama daga cikin akwai tantuna da taburmi da barguna da gidajen sange da dai sauran su wannan taimakon na kungiyar likitoci ta MSF zai yi tasiri sosai saboda wasu mazauna kaiwakan da wa'annan al'amari ya shafa ba su da matantunan yorofa suna gudanar da rayuwa ne a karkashin rumfar kara kenan wa'annan kayyakin za su ba su damar kafa rumfuna da tantuna domin kariyar ruwan sama sauran kayyakin kuma za su musu amfani a fannoni daban-daban kamar tabarmi da barguna da dai sauran su kungiyar likitocin na mai da san san frontier ta ce yanzu ka tana cikin shirin kota kwana idan ma an samu barkewar wasu cututtuka dake da nasaba da damana irin su malaria ko kolera muna cikin shirin bayar da amsa a duk fadin kasar Niger idan ma an samu barkewar kowace annu ba mai nasaba da damana mun dauki dukkanin matakan da suka dace game da wannan al'amarin ko bayan gidajen da suka rugushe a wadannan kauyukan na karamar hukumar dan Chandu a yankin na Tilbiri ruwan saman ya kuma lalata gonaki kimanin dari al'amarin da ake gani zai iya haddasa karancin abinci a wadannan kauyukan a cewar hukumomin jamhuriyar Niger dukkanin yankunan Niger ta kos sun fuskanci ambaliyar ruwa a damina ta bana wace kuma ta raba mutane fiye da 225 da matsugunan su tare kuma da halaka mutane kimanin 160 a dukkan kasar Yusuf Abdullahi
Tasker UE de Genya May Jonghurian Niger. Wata kungiyar wasan kwallon guragu a Ghana wacce tai wasanni da dama da kungiyoyin wasu kasashen yammacin Afrika ta fara shirye-shiryen zuwa Canada domin fafatawa a wasan kwallon guragu a wani mataki na nuna wa duniya irin baiwar da guragu ke da ita da kuma nuna cewa na kasa ba gazawa bace Hawa Abdul Karim Young Pioneer ta hada mana wannan rahoton daga Accra what a name and was some column gura guke and masusuna rolling socket. The suke kerkashini international federation of skate soccer. The kenam bruno a crack as a gana. Mapia and chingura gu adunia suna come back in titi suna barache barache. Was mosuna koyan aiking hano. Was a suna kalong kansu. I must say in nakasasu. Albert Frimpo, Sugar Bakum, one day Kirikuro International Federation of Skate Soccer, Yachi. Yes, by the grace of God, we, uh, as, as the International Federation of Skate Soccer, which is the mother body of the whole sport in the world. Yena Sarah, one no one, some Kolongura, who is able to cast a dunia, neither Kenana Ika, one a Bokina, was seek as work as her Canada Chewa, Sukirikuro, one no one, some Kolongura, who is a man Chewa Day, and Zusuni, National Federation of Skate Soccer, Canada, inviting a team from Ghana. Yachi, as soon as Kogaye, one and team in Zua, Kasar Canada, Dominion was a need a bundable, the Nuna, or Dunia, Erin Baywada, Allah, Ewa Gura, who send a team in. Zai kai ziyara wurare da bandaban a kasar Canada. Mala Ahmed coaching team din ya ce sun fara yin wasannin ne tun akan titi. Kan titi muka hadu muka yi muka gama wasan tun lokaci ma ba ball. Eh muka samu leda da mun dundun kula muna shi kan titi outside wasa 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 wasa. Allah ya taimake mu sai muka sai coach na mu ya gani ya duba ya gani ya ce a wanga abun haka taimaka mu sun sun yi su zama wani abu. Locus Mamu food in a Mukish. Yakramu, Mukashimu, Bamu the Wooding Booga Ball, says a Mukibuka Kantiti. Say Samu Dama Ishiga, yes, some mana wooden. Mona and Day, Mona, Mona Keramutane, Anka, and Mona Keramutane, had as a monto and Zutimga, Monada, come and sist, Kore Mutan is ten players, the Mukishians. Ali Umar, don't want some colony yache, ya para one nun was some two shaker of goma shabo quaking, and yena patang was sent that a piche a dunia. Ah, Gaskia, Tindin, I don't in Hakanaka, so we're Naga Abunya, Burgin, I don't want us and I, nature to Allah, you go such Nima Shigarakana, Nazo Kumaska can be in Hanubibu, Sikokoyam. You went Nadi Shakara Guma Shaboke. Egaskia Bali, Nadi Penda, now we are by now so Allah at Agawa Sanna. Musamu Mwachi, Mona Dogara, Mona Dogoro, the Kamu, Ba Simon Bukatuani, one year Tema Kamara, Chamu, the Kamu Miki, Kula, the Kamu, Hedo was Master of Michel Finas. She was Sabi Unema, then was some Kulin Yachi. She had a Goma Shah Birkin, Aki was some Kulun, Kumena, Patan Yanachi, and the Zar as a Bazuak, Sir Canada. Naka, she had a Shabi Nabago and was set. It's here to our city, Mona and Mona took over the Anangana, but I did train the in San Samuel Munasa, a Tema Kamana, a Harkawa Nawa Sandam. Wouldn't the Mukusu, Munasa, one Nawa Sandam, Allah Tema Kamana, yet Tigaba on Nawa Sandam. A Halin the Aki Cheek Bab won it telepi, the Gomneti Cocoa Minister, a cheer or sugar bong was on Colon. How are the Karim young Pania, Murir Amurka, Akra, Ghana? Masika lamu anam muka kawa karishan shiru muna wana mako seo kumu mako mezwa idang alla ya kai muzamu kamu kuwa na saban shirin taskar VOA. Do msaike kalong wanda shirin da masawran shiri ya shiri ya muna baya. Zaku iya zirita shafu ka muna internet a voahausa.com. Muna ugodia gareku masika lamu da madika nungwa na ndasika tema kawa jang hata wanda shiri hariya zo gareku. Zahara aminu fayeti daga nambrunu Washington DC na kechiwa mkasanchi lafia. Muzika.